Reading your electricity meter is a good first step towards cutting your business's electricity bill. Your meter records exactly how much electricity you're using. Your energy supplier needs this in order to accurately calculate your electricity bill. If they don't have it, they'll make an estimation, which may mean that you end up paying more for your energy than you actually need to. You can also use meter readings to analyze your electricity use, providing a basis for making savings. There are two types of electricity meter that you could have, an analog meter or a digital meter. Let's take a look at each type. The first type is an analog meter. Readings can be shown on either a clock or a roller style dial. They measure your electricity use in kilowatt hours. This will be displayed as a single set of numbers, although you may notice that the time and the date also appear. To provide a reading to your supplier with clock style dials, start with the left dial and write down the number indicated by the pointer on each dial moving towards the right. If the pointer is between two numbers, then record the lower of the two. And if the pointer is between a nine and a zero, then record it as a nine. You can just ignore any numbers after the decimal point or in red as the supplier doesn't need these. Some meters will show a series of roller style dials. In this case, simply record the numbers on the dials from left to right. The second type of electricity meter is a digital meter. Digital meters can be single rate or multi-rate. If only one set of numbers is available, then you've got a single rate meter. In most circumstances, you'll have to push the button in order to see the kilowatt hour figure. However, in some cases, it may be timed, in which case you just have to wait for the kilowatt hour unit to appear. To provide a reading to your supplier, write down all the numbers before the decimal point from left to right. You can just ignore any numbers after the decimal point as the supplier doesn't need these. If your screen has multiple displays available, then you've got a multi-rate meter. This means that your electricity use is being calculated for different periods, which have different associated rates. For example, your meter may show consumption during the day and night, or during peak and off-peak times. To provide a reading to your supplier, you'll need to scroll through each display by pushing the button. The reading for rate one, the standard rate, will usually be indicated by an R1 in the corner, or sometimes just by the number one, followed by the meter reading in kilowatt hours. R2 is the second rate, and this is also followed by the meter reading for that particular rate. Be aware that there may be other numbers displayed, such as the time and date. In some cases, you may see a times 10 in the top left corner of your meter. This means that the reading has been shortened by one decimal place. If you see this, then you just add a zero to the end of your meter reading. So there you have it, how to read your electricity meter. You should be giving your supplier regular meter readings to make sure that you're paying what you should be for your electricity supply. You should be able to do this online or simply by ringing your supplier.